Did you know that about 13.8 billion years ago, there was nothing, no stars, no galaxies, no planets or people, then suddenly, the Big Bang happened, and our universe was born. Let's take a moment to fully appreciate this. The universe as we know it from the furthest galaxies to the tiniest quarks, all came into existence from a single, infinitely dense point. This was the Big Bang, a cosmic explosion that set the stage for the grand drama of the universe. The formation of our very own Earth happened around 4.5 billion years ago. Imagine a world of molten rock, constantly bombarded by asteroids with no trace of the blue and green planet we're familiar with today. Yet, it was this hostile environment that would eventually become our home. Fast forward a billion years, and we see the first sparks of life. These were not complex creatures but simple, single-celled organisms. They were far from the diverse array of life we see today but they were the beginning. Over time through trial and error life began to evolve. Evolution, the process that has shaped every single organism on our planet. It's not a conscious entity, but a mechanism, a set of rules that governs how life changes and adapts. It's a slow process, taking billions of years to create the incredible diversity we see today. From these simple, single-celled organisms, life began to branch out. It diversified into countless forms, each one unique, each one a testament to the power of evolution. We see this power in the vibrant coral reefs, the lush rainforests and the vast savannas teeming with life. This journey from the first single-celled organisms to the complex life forms we see today is a testament to the power of evolution. It's a story of survival, adaptation, and the indomitable will of life to persist and thrive against all odds. From simple, single-celled organisms, life on Earth evolved into an astounding array of complexity and diversity. This isn't just the story of life on Earth, it's our story too. And as we'll see, it's a story that is still being written. Fast forward to about two and a half million years ago, the Homo genus, our genus, first appeared on the scene. This era marked a significant leap in the evolutionary journey, introducing a new player to the game, Homo habilis. This early human species was a game changer in the story of evolution. They were the first to make stone tools, earning them the name Homo habilis, which means handy man. These tools were a significant innovation, paving the way for future advancements in technology and society. Homo habilis was an essential stepping stone in our evolutionary timeline, but it was Homo erectus who really started to look like us. Emerging around 2 million years ago, Homo erectus was the first human species to stand fully upright, showcasing a physique and posture remarkably similar to modern humans. Their bodies were built for endurance, allowing them to cover vast distances on foot, a trait that would prove essential for their survival and eventual migration. But Homo erectus was far more than just an upright walker. They were the first species to master the use of fire, a discovery that not only provided warmth and protection but also unlocked a new world of dietary options. Cooking food allowed Homo erectus to extract more energy from their meals, fueling their increasingly complex brains. Their expanding minds led to the creation of more sophisticated tools, and the start of communal living, laying the groundwork for the complex societies we see today. And then, Homo erectus did something unprecedented. They left Africa. These early humans were the first of our ancestors to venture beyond the African continent, spreading into Asia and Europe. This great migration marked the beginning of our species' global journey, a journey that continues to this day. The Homo erectus were the first true explorers venturing out of Africa and into Asia and Europe. About 300,000 years ago in the grand scheme of the universe's timeline, a blink of an eye, Homo sapiens first appeared. This new species, our species, had a few distinct features that set us apart. We were taller, we had a more slender build, and our brains were bigger. But the real difference, the game changer, was something less tangible, less visible. It was our capacity for complex thought, our ability to imagine, to create, to innovate, Imagine a world where Homo sapiens were just one of many human species on the planet. Now that's a tough one to swallow, isn't it? But that's exactly how it was. And yet something happened, something big, it's called the cognitive revolution. Around 70,000 years ago our ancestors experienced a rapid evolution, not physically but culturally and probably technologically. They started to think differently, to communicate in sophisticated ways. They began to create symbolic art, to form social hierarchies, to plan for the future. Suddenly they were not just reacting to the world, they were shaping it. The cognitive revolution wasn't just about survival. 
It was about domination. It marked the point where Homo sapiens began to outcompete, outthink, and outlast other human species. But why? What sparked this revolution? Some say it was a genetic mutation. Others argue for the role of language, the power of storytelling, we don't know for sure. What we do know is that this revolution changed everything. Homo sapiens started to spread across the globe. They began to control fire, to develop tools, to build communities. They learned to cooperate in large groups, to create social and political orders, to establish norms and values. They began to ask questions, to seek answers, to understand the world around them. They were not just surviving, they were thriving. And so, we come to the end of our journey through the arrival of Homo sapiens, a species defined not just by its physical traits but by its remarkable cognitive abilities, a species that has, for better or worse, come to dominate the planet. Homo sapiens were not just survivors but dominators shaping the world around them. Neanderthals, our closest extinct human relative, roamed the Earth about 400,000 to 40,000 years ago. These intriguing beings were not the brutish, unsophisticated cavemen often depicted in popular culture. On the contrary, they were quite similar to us, Homo sapiens in many ways. Neanderthals were robust, adapted to the cold and had a powerful physique. They were capable hunters of large game and used tools much like their Homo sapiens counterparts. They even demonstrated elements of what we would call culture, with evidence of burying their dead, possibly with ritual significance. So, what led to their extinction? There are several theories each as fascinating as the last. One suggests that Neanderthals, despite their physical strength, were outcompeted by the more resourceful and adaptive Homo sapiens. Some argue that Homo sapiens arriving in Eurasia with superior technology and social organization could have driven Neanderthals to extinction through competition for resources. Another theory proposes a more chilling scenario. Homo sapiens may have actively exterminated the Neanderthals. This could have been through outright violence or through the spread of diseases to which Neanderthals had no immunity. Yet another theory suggests that the two species interbred to such an extent that the Neanderthals were absorbed into the Homo sapiens population. Recent genetic studies support this idea revealing that modern humans outside Africa have a small percentage of Neanderthal DNA. Each theory has its proponents and detractors and the truth may well lie in a combination of these explanations. But one thing is clear, the Neanderthals, once the most advanced beings on the planet, were replaced by us, Homo sapiens. Their disappearance marks a significant point in our evolutionary history. It reminds us of the impermanence of species including potentially our own, and underscores the ruthless efficiency of natural selection. The disappearance of the Neanderthals is one of the great mysteries of human evolution. It's a stark reminder that survival isn't just about strength or intelligence but adaptability and the ability to live in harmony with our ever-changing environment. Human evolution is a story of survival, adaptation and innovation, but it's also a story shrouded in many myths. It's not a linear journey from primitive to advanced, but a complex process filled with branches and dead ends. So, the next time you gaze at the stars, remember, you're a part of a story that's billions of years in the making. If you like this video, please subscribe Curiosity Cabinet. Like and share learn without limits. One curiosity at a time.